Hello, my name is Christy, and I'm here today because I think that people need a little bit more science in their life. A little bit more science, a little bit less thought. So I'm here to bring some science into your life and to tell you how you came to be. It all started back when your mom and dad's kidneys got together and decided to have a Hall of Fame competition. Now in this competition there are lots of events such as discus throwing, microtubule spear hunting, bunny shooting, kitten petting, DNA cupcake making, etc. etc. The cells that enter into these competitions, of course you have some winners and some losers. Now these losers, they have to go through life wearing these funny little caps and what we know in karma parlance are cancer cells. And the non-losers are your regular kidney cells. However, occasionally when cells get together to have this Hall of Fame competition, they get distracted by things such as cups of coffee, butter, and cream. These cells that get distracted by cups of but butter, coffee, and cream are what actually make you, you. Now, years ago when your mom and dad's kidney cells got together and decided to have this Hall of Fame competition, some, well, okay, first of all, the cells have in each and every one of them a little sphere called a nucleus. Now, cells, when they get distracted from this Hall of Fame competition by the coffee, butter, and cream cups, they start to, their nucleus starts to split. The reason why the nucleus starts to split is because a train runs right through them. Now, the train doesn't run right through them because it's carrying cargo from one area to another. No, I know that's what you were thinking, but no. The reason why the train runs right through them is because in the normal nucleus, there are two types of gnomes. There's a happy gnome and a sad gnome. Normally, these cells, they get involved in these Hall of Fame competitions every so often, as men and women are prone to do, we know about that. <laughs> Don't need to go into details for the kids, but, you know. And these cells are fighting other cells, so the two gnomes are happy because they're both focused on this competitor outside of their own nucleus. But, when cells get distracted by cups of butter, coffee, and cream, these two gnomes start fighting with each other. Suddenly, the nucleus becomes too small a space for two gnomes to live in. So the only way to separate them is to have a train run right through. So your nucleus begins to split with this train running right through. Now, the happy gnome has a little dog that goes and gets milk out of the air conditioner every morning. Air conditioner is otherwise known as the nucleolus. Um, and then the he takes the little dog from the happy gnome, runs off and takes this milk to areas called ribosomes. These ribosomes make things like blood, phlegm, and everything else we use to impress our mates. On the other side of the nucleus, the mad, sad little gnome, he actually doesn't really have a role, or I should say to date, to the year 2009. It's, his role is not known in science, which is frustratingly common to have things whose role is not known. But we all know why he's sad, because he doesn't have a little puppy to run and get milk out of the air conditioner every morning. Okay, so moving right along, now we know why the train is running through the nucleus. So when these distracted cells that are not involved in the Hall of Fame competition, the nucleus begins to split from this train running through. Well, the rest of the cell sees the nucleus split, sees the train, and is like, whoa, whoa, what's so special about the nucleus? How come the nucleus gets a train running through it? So these cells set to work making a boat. Now, this boat isn't supposed to carry cargo. No, I know what you're thinking. It's not what it's for. See, you're getting distracted by the macroscopic world, but think microscopically. The reason why they're making this boat is... That's right! To separate the cell into two. Because the rest of the cell is so angry. Like, how come the nucleus gets a train running through it? How come it gets to split? So it decides it's going to split. So it gets to work making making a yacht or a boat. I like to call it a yacht because it's a little bit fancier and science could use some fancy. So they get to work making this yacht. Things involved in making the yacht are things like actin filaments, neurofilaments, endoplasmic reticulum. They all work together to make this yacht. So eventually the yacht is built and the yacht goes right through the cell as intended and it breaks the cell into two different cells. And the nucleus with the train running through it, well the train the whole time is like choo 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 going through and it sees the yacht being made and it's like well I'm not gonna be like a, what's it called when you're um, up, up stand. I'm not gonna yet let a yacht show off, can't think of the word. And so it makes sure that it stays really close to the yacht because you know keep your enemies closer than your friends. 
or however the saying goes. And so it like stays close to the eye. So when the cell eventually, this is where I'm going, when the cell eventually splits, the two nuclei also split. And then the train and the yacht just sort of um, go to your bladder and get metabolized. Now remember, this is happening in mom and dad's kidney cells. So two cells in mom, two cells in dad, eventually you have four cells. Well, these four cells are smarter than the two cells, obviously, because four is bigger than two. If I have four hands, I'd be like so much more powerful than if I had two, but I, I don't have four hands. But if I did, yeah. So these four cells are really smart and they get together and they're like, hey, hey, remember we were gonna have a competition? They're like, oh yeah, we were gonna have a competition. So they're like, suddenly remember, we got distracted before, let's still have a competition. And then they're like thinking, cause these cells are really smart, cause there's four of them. So obviously they're really smart. And they're thinking like, oh, these other cells are gonna laugh at us if we say we wanna join the competition now. So they decide to have their own competition cause they don't wanna be made fun of for getting distracted. Even though getting distracted is like totally something not to make fun of someone for cause it's, it's like a lot of good things can come from getting distracted. Like you, just how you were born, but we're getting there. So these four cells get together and they start to have the super competition instead of the Hall of Fame competition that they were originally supposed to have. And in the super competition, what basically happens is I won't bog you down with a whole bunch of science terms, but it's important to name a few. First of all, they shoot out phosphatases. Now phosphatases are shot out of this like, like a blow dart type thing that the cell forms that's called a pilus. And phosphatases are shot out of this pilus and hit the other cells. Another method of action are the kinases. Kinases aren't shot out like a blow dart. They're actually secreted. And then they go up and they like adhere to the other cells, to the underneath side of the cells, which it gets a little bit complicated because it's hard to tell what side's underneath when you're in the kidney. But there is an underneath side and the kinases are like secreted and then they just kind of uh, diffuse and then they adhere to these cells where they act like little bombs where they just diffuse the phosphatases are shooting so all cells have all of these things and it's, long story short eventually one cell wins and that becomes you and um by convention the cell that wins ends up in mom but you know crazy things happen sometimes no, I think it always ends up in mom. I think moms always have kids. Yep. Okay. Science.